In this tutorial, we're going to see how we can create graphical regions from a series of inequations or inequalities. When we um, finish solving our problems, we will get a graphical representation of a region which looks like the one on the um, display at the moment. So what does the problem look like? Well, we have a series of inequalities or inequations where some of them are greater than or equal to and some are less than or equal to. Um, they're always going to be in two variables. I put these ones in X and Y, but yours could be in others. So how do we actually go about solving the problem? Well, for each of these, we plot the line of the inequality. Now, what I mean by that is if we have AX plus BY is greater than or equal to C, we'd plot the line AX plus BY equals C. We then pick a point not on the line, and if 0, 0 is an option, that's the one we would go for. And then we substitute those values into our um, inequality, and we'll either get a statement that ends up being true or false. If it's false, we shade the side with the point that we picked, and if it's not um, false, it's true, we shade the opposite side. So let's look at an example. So the first thing I'm going to do is draw the line x equals 4. Then I'm going to put a, and pick a point that's not on the line. So I'm going to go for 0, 0. And so x is 0. Is 0 less than 4? Yes, it is. So I'm going to shade the side not with 0, 0 in. I'm now going to draw the line 5y plus 4x is equal to 20. I'm going to pick a point. And I can pick 0, 0 again, so I might as well. 5 zeros plus 4, four zeros is um, 0. Um, is 0 greater than 20? No, it's not. So below the line is false, so I'm going to shade below the line. I'm now going to draw the line 2y minus x equals 6. I'm going to pick a point not on the line, and 0, 0 is an option. Um, so I end up with 0 is less than 6. Is that true? Yes, it is. So below the line is true, above the line is false. And there's the solution to my problem. Here's one for you to try. Um, I'd suggest that you do this on your own. Pause the video and then check your solution against mine to see if you've got the right answer. OK, hopefully this is what you got. Um, I really stress that you're really careful about drawing your lines and doing your shading. If you have more than three inequalities, it's very easy to get the region wrong and miss some of the vertices of the region. And they are very important when it comes to solving our problems later on. Here's a question for you to try. I'm not going to give you the answer. I want you to do this on your own. Discuss it with your friends. Hopefully have some good mathematical conversations. Um, when you decide um, who's got it right and who's got it wrong. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Stay in infield with Winfield.